It's been great, you know, just coming in, working, working hard. You know, it was a quick turnaround because of the national championship. Just coming in, working, and just taking it and just going with it, and not looking back, not trying to take a break, just going. Yeah, it definitely did. When I came in, when I came in and walked through the stadium Tuesday, I, mean, I was talking to Jamar, I'm like, dang, bro, I'm catching chills, like, just looking like, but we was just here, like, in January, so really just catching chills, and it was definitely deja vu. What kind of feedback? Overall, everything was good. When it came to interviews, I was getting good feedback. Practices, I was getting good feedback. The, the offensive line coach that we had from the Detroit Lions, he, I had great feedback from him, so I feel like overall everything was good and the experience was good. So pretty much ended up there because I had lost to the Northern Trees today. I wanted to go to the Northern Trees. Say it again. Oh uh, man, it just come back to all of the chasing the dream. That's what that's what we all came back for. Not only a national championship, but just be able to have an opportunity to come here and get the combine invite. I feel like I feel like Georgia Georgia prepared me very well just because the practices. The off the off season workouts, all that, all that really co contributed to to this day. Oh yeah, most definitely. It, it prepared me very well, just knowing that the transition. Not, it's it's going to be a hard transition, but it's not going to be hard as as I think it is, just because of Georgia prepared me the right way. Uh, I've been talking to the Falcons, Cowboys, Raiders, the Cardinals. The list can go on and on. They're just the ones I know off the bat. They just got general information. Just told me they, they, look, they look forward to me competing out at Combine and the Pro Day. It'll mean a lot just be able to go, go back and play. My family won't have that, have that far to travel and just be able to play for my hometown. Oh yeah, I, I can most definitely agree with him just because our practices from the, from from fall camp to the to the season, like just that whole setup, like it's a, it's it's mostly a NFL schedule. I'm probably gonna wait for uh, wait and do my bench press at pro day just because of my body and just making sure I had a correct rest. Yeah, everything is set bench. It'll be SEC championship. Even though we lost, just the performance I had, it was good. I say Phil Mathis from Alabama. I did pretty good. Say that again. Oh, just just knowing like if you play if you play if you go against a player one time, he gonna come back the second game. He gonna come back with a different mindset and a different way of attacking the game. Oh uh, man, that's that's very good. Just knowing like where my school came from and how they building up. Just knowing like me, just us three, just showing that other guys from that high school can come to, come do the same thing and follow the same footsteps we did. We just I was just telling each other like this is what we used to talk. This was this how we what we used to talk about when coming up in high school like. Get to college, get the combine invite, get the senior bowl invite, things like that. We always talked about getting. So just accomplishing those goals really meant a lot to us. I say my dad and just like, just crap for crap, crap my past protection just because I know I got a little out of whack sometimes. Justin, you were three-star rated offense. Do you 
you think Georgia so helped develop you, or how much of it was kind of your own personal so far, I've been working on all that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I say Georgia played a big part in that, but just having that mindset, just because I was a three-star, knowing that I got a chip on my shoulder, I got to go out here and prove myself every time I get on the field, no matter if it's practice or the game, just going out and just attack it each, each and every day the right way. What is the team getting in you and they select you in the NFL? I say a dog, a someone who loves the game, someone who's who going to try to come in and do whatever it takes to get on the field. Day one, just go out there and just try to Follow the vets and just try to follow their footsteps. What's your reaction to Coach Dick deciding to step down? You know, spending a couple of years with him and you and the guy you understand with Big Line. No, I really had. Soon I seen it on Twitter. I, I called. I called Sergio Van Fran. I'm, tr I'm trying to call the group chat. Like, why? Why he leave? Like, what's going on? But they was at. They was in practice at the time, so I ain't never get a chance to get back in contact with them. Yeah, we see, we seen each other. I mean, we all came in different days. Like the first day we, the first day I got here, only person who was here was just me, me, Jamari, and James. So, and then the all the defensive line came in yesterday. So I finally got to see Trayvon this morning. I seen JD and Devonte last night doing the interviews. But we still got more guys coming in today and then tomorrow. I say I'm out of my game is Quinn Nelson, play for the Indiana coach. Just like his playing style and like how he attacked the game, he attacked the game like me, very aggressive, and he a mauler. Just, 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 just coming, coming in, coming here in roadblocks, not letting nothing really stop you. Just coming in, like, like we said that, like we said. That last year when all that said unfinished business, that was one of the things that I want to do is win a national championship and graduate. So just accomplishing the goals and just looking back how far I came, I can just really look back and just sit back and smile at myself because I made it this far. It hit me when I got when I got to the stadium on Tuesday, just catching the tears like, dang, I really won a national championship. Like this college football really over with for me. It's, it's great being like this right now. This right here, just standing here, this is my job. So just, just attacking everything the right way because it's a job. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Just, just knowing, like, because we got a lot of guys in our group that's very good and, 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 project, and projected to get very high in the draft. So just knowing that really means a lot to us. Really, really everybody, because the team really so young. And like just knowing like the guys, just seeing the guys, the young guys practice when I was there, they gonna, it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of people to look out for. I'd say, uh, I'd say Broderick Jones, Cedric Van Fran, and Warren Erickson. Coach, Coach Luke meant a lot. Just, just his coaching style, how he coached. He always coached with good energy. He always, he, he, you could tell you, he, he was like me, really loved the game. He gonna coach you hard, no matter if you wrong or right. Like if you wrong, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna yell at you. He gonna get on you. But it's not, it's not to do it on purpose or get on your bad side. It's to coach you, and coach you, and coach you the right way and treat you like an adult. Really just being here and just enjoying the process, just knowing like you only get this once and just being grateful that I got this opportunity. Justin, who's the toughest guy you went against on Georgia's defense? Devontae Wild and Jordan Davis. Not one or the other? No, both. They both practice hard, they both they both physical, they both Athletic, so just practicing against them every day really made me better as well. A good Devontae Wise story. He's very goofy. Like he might not look goofy, he might look humble, but he's really goofy. <laughs> Jordan Davis. Oh man, like Jordan Davis is goofy as well, but it's just a different a different level of goofiness. Like you could you could be trying to be serious and he gonna be goofy the whole time. Like. You have to be like, all right, JD, like, let's get serious. Like, it's a time and a place. 
key point in the season where you guys blew the title. When would that key point of last season been when you think back to, you know, that was the moment that you knew, that was the moment that this team cemented the national championship season. When would, when would that moment have been or what game would that have been? I say it started in the summer. We had, we used to have little breakout groups. And we had four traits. We, we had four traits. We leaned on all year: connection, effort, connection, effort, toughness, and resilience. So just leaning on those, and, all, and just, those four traits just made our bond and, and our brotherhood in the locker room really real tight. And like we had, and we made it where everybody just come in and just work. Like nobody complained. Nobody, nobody did nothing. Nobody wanted to like skip. It was just like everybody wanted to come in and get that extra work. Like it started back in the summer before it. Like the coaches didn't even have to tell us like come get extra work. Everybody coming to do extra laps, doing extra extra weights, like things like that. Really just like made our bond tight and and it got us a national championship. He was a hard, he was a hard coach. He co he coached the outside linebackers really hard. You know. Just knowing, like, I mean, I ain't really get to see him because he was on defense. But he was a cool guy. Every time you see him, he gonna speak. Great, great attitude, positive. Just he was always happy around the facility. I know he's a little bit of a younger guy. I guess what was that kind of like having him as a coach, having him around as well as that? What was it like having him as a younger guy, like changing a younger guy? Like what was that like having kind of a younger coach as well? It was good. Just knowing, like, no matter no matter if he was a defensive coach. I'd be able to like come up to him and ask some questions just because he he was like I could connect to his generation because we kind of young and in the same generation. Thank you.